Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm gonna be reading the seventh episode of Kyoya no Kotobuki Hikotai. And I gotta say, this episode wasn't exactly the most epic Kyoya episode, and it wasn't the most visually engaging. But at the very least, this episode did some things that were relatively interesting because, for one, it seems like it's gonna probably flesh out Kate a bit more. At least that's what's in, what it's implying because. Like how it starts out, shows the flashbacks of Kate's brother, and then he gets shot, and then we get in like a later sequence where you see Kate visit her brother in the hospital, and we get some characterization where he's like a he's like an energetic individual despite being bedridden and not being able to walk on his own due to his injuries. So at the very least, we're getting more a bit more layers to Kate's character. And, to its credit, at least we got to see Kylie and we got to see Kate, how they interact with each other and how they bring out the best in each other at the very least. Because I like how during this episode, you have Kate bring up the point that even though she beat Kylie in this pilot simulation thing, Kylie is technically the best pilot that the crew has. And I like how in this, later on in the episode, when there's this oil rig in danger, you actually see Kylie and Kate operate the same plane and they do it pretty masterfully because when Kylie's with Kate you don't see her do any kind of reckless action and she exactly follows the recommendation that Kate implements in a dangerous situation to succeed like when they're trying to put out a fire so I kind of like that it shows a bit more layers into Kylie's character at the very least and it makes the simple sequence of them putting out a fire and dealing with these organization that funded these pilots with like decked out planes with armored planes a bit more interesting now I gotta say the only thing that keeps this episode from greatness is kind of the slowness of it at times because there are moments in this episode where it's like eh, I want it to be slightly a bit quicker like there is a sequence when the bearded guy that's religious and the brown haired dude is talking to like this old guy and it's dragging on for like a bit too long and I'm like I just want to get back to our crew I really don't care about these characters and I really don't care too much that their oil rig was hit either because they sh that also didn't make me didn't really do much in making me care about this as much and that's why I kind of felt this episode wasn't as strong as some of the previous ones because in some of the previous episodes when they had to transport cargo, at the very least, they sometimes had to transport someone like when our crew had to transport Julia, Julia was a relatively interesting character so in that instance I gave a shit. In this it's like, um, it feels like the plot's progressing but kind of like because it has to not because it feels natural so that's why I felt this episode wasn't as strong as some of the previous ones but it's still relatively successful for the most part for the Kate characterization, a bit of the Kylie character development because you see her be less reckless. And you get to have some development at the end where Kate's um, willing to read a fiction book and all that because she wasn't willing to do that before because she thought fiction was worthless and then she kind of changed her perspective on that and you see the crew bonding more because Shaika is the one who brings up the, the book. so. At the very least, we get some character development, and the visuals were good, like when there were the plane fighting scenes were good because the orange color was pretty beautiful, and at least there was some intense because one of the Zara's plane actually fell down. So at the very least, the pilots our crew had to go up against weren't playing bitches, so that made for a relatively entertaining episode in the second half. It's just that the first half felt a bit slow, and that's why. I'm going to rate this episode a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. It's still a bit above average because for me, 5 is average and 6 is a bit above average. And hopefully next week we can get a groove. I mean, from the previews, it looks like it's going to be good. We're going to have, we're going to see Kate spend time with the brother. I mean, that looks interesting. And I'd say I'm hyped to see more. So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on the episode. Comment down your thoughts in the comment section below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more because I'm definitely... Gonna be keeping up with the show. Reason why it took me a while to make a review was because uh, things just keep on coming up, and then Sundays is usually 
not like the best day for me to make reviews because usually I have to do other stuff. And then sometimes it's either a decision where, all right, do I do a live reaction towards like say this anime or Kyoya and well, that's how it ends up. Sundays are just usually not a, Sundays and Saturdays are usually tough days, so that's why this review's coming really, really late. But I'm gonna try to keep my schedule, and I'll try to react and review towards the next few episodes as quickly as possible, so that I can review episode 11 and react to it as quickly as possible. Alright, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.